Praise the Lord. You are waiting for liberation tonight. You are waiting for the power of God to come upon your life tonight. For that power to touch your life. And to roll away every mountain. It comes with a bulldozer from heaven. To level every mountain of your life. And to destroy every difficulty of your life. He comes to set you free. Let him hear you pray. Let him hear you tell him what you need. Emancipation. Emancipation. Tonight. Today. In his mighty power. He comes to set you free. And he will set you free. Tell him. Tell him. He will set you free. He cannot fail. He has never failed. And he comes to you tonight. Wanting to break every chain in your life. Wanting to destroy every work of the devil in your life. He has come. He has come. Welcome him. The emancipator. The liberator. The deliverer. The savior. He has not changed. The same yesterday, today, and forever. In Jesus' name we pray. I said in Jesus' name we pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight. We do bless your name. We know you are a mighty God. We know you are a powerful God. A God that comes to liberate, to emancipate, to set the people free. And Lord, we come tonight with the fullness of faith, knowing that with you all things are possible. We bring all your people before you here today. And we're asking the power of emancipation and the power of liberation. You will pour down upon your people today. And we pray that our state will never be the same again in Jesus' name. Mighty power. Mighty demonstration. Mighty deliverance. Mighty performance. I pray you bring upon every life tonight in Jesus' name. And we pray that you glorify the name of Jesus, our Savior, our Lord, our Redeemer, our Liberator, the same yesterday, today, and forever. And we pray that you walk mightily in every life tonight in Jesus' name. Be glorified tonight. Be exalted tonight. And Lord, I pray that your miracle will flow into every life. And you will do the impossible in every life. Confirm it to Lord in every life. I thank you because I know you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And somebody shout amen. God bless everyone. You can sit down. We are coming to Matthew chapter 1. Tonight as we come together for the great emancipation. Tonight as we come together for the great liberation. Tonight as you come here and you are expecting that the power of God will come to liberate you. I will come to set you free. You will not be disappointed in Jesus name. Because his power is still the same. Yesterday and today and forever. Jesus the Savior is the same. Jesus the Emancipator is the same. Jesus the Redeemer is the same. It's going to walk in your life. It's going to roll that mountain away in your life. Somebody there shout Amen. We're looking at Matthew chapter 1. And I'm reading from verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. 
Now all this was done that it may be fulfilled which was spoken by the Lord by the prophet saying Behold a virgin shall be a child and shall bring forth a son and thou shall call his name Emmanuel which being interpreted is God with us. There will come to the introduction of the emancipator. His conception was a miracle. His birth was a miracle. His life was a miracle. His death was a miracle. His resurrection was a miracle. His ascension to heaven was a miracle. Everywhere he went, there was the emancipation. Everywhere he went, there was power manifestation. Everywhere when there was manifestation, demonstration of his power. And he's here in the door with us tonight. And he comes to liberate us tonight. Somebody there comes to emancipate you tonight. Somebody there comes to set you free tonight. And here we have the introduction of that Jesus. Introduction of that Savior. Introduction of that Redeemer. Introduction of that Healer. And it says, talking about Virgin Mary. She shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. Because he will save his people from their sins. He's the one that will forgive our sins. He's the one that will cleanse us from our sins. It's the one that will transform our sinful lives. It's the one that will change our life from darkness to light. It's the one that will bring the power of heaven upon our lives. That what we found impossible before, by the power of that lamb that takes the sins of the world away, he comes to make the change and the transformation in your life. And tonight, the Lord is there by your side. I said the Lord is there by your side. He will roll all those mountains away tonight in Jesus' name. I'm looking at the word of God with you tonight. The topic is emancipation through Emmanuel. Emancipation through Emmanuel. Because he is the creator. is the mighty power of God. is the one that does all things well. In your life, in my life, in our lives. In the high and in the low. In the man and in the woman. He finds nothing impossible. He forgives sin. Very easy for him. He cleanses the heart. Very easy with him. He changes the life. Very easy with him. He opens the eyes of the blind. Very easy with him. He makes the limb to rise up and walk. Very easy with him. He does the impossible. Very easy with him. He removes the mountains of every life. Very easy with him. Emancipation through Emmanuel. Liberation through the Lord. Deliverance through the Deliverer. Salvation through the Savior. Healing through the Healer. It will happen tonight. Somebody there shout Amen. It will happen tonight in your life in Jesus' name. Emancipation through Emmanuel. There are three things we're looking at. Number one, Emmanuel, our Savior and sufficiency. Emmanuel, our Savior and sufficiency. Whatever sin you have committed, how deep, however deep you have gone in sin, however far you have gone in sin, 
whatever terrible things you might have gotten involved with. Emmanuel is our savior. And then is our sufficiency. You don't need any other addition. You don't need any other place to go. Any other person to consult. Any other, any other river to wash in. Any other oil to rub yourself. Any other shrine to visit. Emmanuel, our Savior, is our sufficiency. You'll find him sufficient tonight. Everything you need, you'll find in him. Every yoke you have, he'll break every yoke. Every work of the devil he will destroy. He'll bring joy in your life. Satisfaction in your life. Because Emmanuel is our savior and sufficiency. Point number two, emancipation from sin and suffering. Emancipation from sin and suffering. It's like somebody is in a cage. And the cage, the door of the cage has been locked. And nobody has the key. But the key is in the hand of this one. And you can go to the sea, you can go to the river, you can go to the sky, you can go to the mountain. Looking for the key to open that cage, you find that key in the hand of the emancipator. Many people are chained to sin. Then the cage of sin. In the prison of sin. Then the dungeon of sin. And they're looking for somebody to emancipate, to liberate, and to set them free. But the cage is locked. And no matter what you do, you cannot deliver yourself. You go here, you go there, but you are still inside that cage. But Emmanuel, the emancipator, he has the key to open your prison door. And he comes tonight. He sets you free from sin. Somebody there said he'll set you free from sin. And then the suffering that should have attended your sin. Earthly suffering here. Eternal suffering in hell. He is the one that can cancel that kind of suffering from your life. Because he's emancipated from sin and from suffering. Now that you know about emancipation, and you know about Emmanuel, and Emmanuel is coming to you, and if you have expectation there, and you say, tonight I'm expecting, tonight I'm believing, tonight I'm seeking emancipation, I'm looking for deliverance, I'm looking for total redemption. Your expectation will not be disappointed. Number three, expectation of seekers for salvation. Expectation of seekers for salvation. As you're expecting salvation of the Lord, salvation for the soul, salvation for your spirit, salvation for your body, salvation for your family, salvation for everything around you, complete salvation, total salvation, entire salvation, lifetime salvation, from now until you see the Lord face to face. If that is what you're expecting, and that's what you're seeking, expectation of seekers for salvation. Tonight it has come. 
Are you there? I said tonight, it has come. Redemption tonight. Are you there? I said redemption tonight. Salvation tonight. Healing tonight. Deliverance tonight. Mountain being removed tonight. Miracles tonight. Signs and wonders tonight. The door of heaven being opened upon you tonight. Showers of blessing upon your life tonight. Expectation of seekers for salvation. One, two, three. You are going to get it. Number one, Emmanuel, our savior and sufficiency. It's our savior. He came to save us. He came to forgive us. He came to change our lives. He came to transform us. He came to take us out of earth and take us to heaven. And he's the one who has said unto us, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Say it another way. Except a man meet the Savior, he cannot get to the kingdom of heaven. Except the sinner has connection with the Savior. He cannot see the kingdom of heaven. That's why Jesus Christ is coming to you tonight. He came from heaven. Now he's coming to you here. And he says, I am Emmanuel. God with us. You invite him to your heart. You invite him to your life. You invite him to your family. That salvation will come. Emmanuel, our Savior. Look at that Matthew chapter 1 again. Reading from verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. Emmanuel, he shall save his people from their sins. That's the Savior. He shall save his people from their sins. Do you know tonight, as you surrender yourself to the Lord Jesus Christ, say, Lord, I surrender. I give myself. I see you as my Emmanuel. You are God, you have come to me. There's no other God. Idols are no gods. Wood is no God. Iron is no God. The river is no God. There's no God in the shrine. You come to Emmanuel tonight and say, Jesus, I come to you. You will be my savior. You will be my sufficiency. And then you confess your sins unto the Lord. And the moment you confess your sins to him, and you make up your mind, you are going to forsake them. And you say, Emmanuel, I come. Savior, I come. Jesus, I come. I believe you died for me on the cross of Calvary. He will take your sins away. He will take the guilt of sin away. All the condemnation he will take away. He is the prince of peace. He will bring his peace into your life. He is the joy of the whole world. He will bring the joy of salvation unto you. He is the power of God in man. He will bring that power of salvation to your life. Then you say, I'm a new creature. If any man be in Christ, it's a new creature. Old things are passed away. And behold, all things have become new. Your life will become new. Somebody there said your life will become new. You'll not be able to beat your wife anymore. You'll not be able to steal anymore. You're not to be able to do wicked things anymore. Fighting is gone. Violence is gone. 
revenge, retaliation is gone. And then planning something at the backyard and wanting to destroy, kill another person, all that is gone. That anger that makes you to forget yourself. And whatever you see, you pick up, you want to knock another person's said, all that will go. Is the emancipator that brings us to point number two now emancipation from sin and suffering from the time Adam and Eve sinned in the garden of Eden suffering came sorrow came shame came oppression came Tears came, sicknesses came, demon oppression came, captivity came, poverty came. When sin entered, suffering also entered. That's why we need emancipation. That's why we need release out of that prison out of that cage out of that captivity out of that evil that's why we come tonight we didn't come to just say look at the crowd there's no spectator here tonight there's no onlooker here tonight you have come to receive I said you have come to receive emancipation is coming your way Deliverance is coming your way. Salvation is coming your way. And total redemption is coming your way. Emancipation from sin. And once the sin is gone, the suffering will also go. The sickness must go. The oppression must go. All the night of trouble, everything must go. The snare of the devil, everything must go. The tears will be dried, dried up. All the yoke will be broken. Just leave the sin. Leave the evil. Leave the violence. And leave the, and leave the fighting. And then blessings are going to come upon your life. I'm looking at John chapter 8. John chapter 8. I'm reading from verse 34. John chapter 8, verse 34. And you see what the Lord is saying over here. John chapter 8, verse 34. Jesus answered them verily, verily, I say unto you. Whosoever committed sin is a servant of sin. Whosoever committed sin is a servant of sin. Why did he say that? Who were the people there when he said that? And there were some people that were called Pharisees and Sadducees. They carried religion on their head. They had religion in their heart. They washed with the water of religion. They saw by the candle of religion. They thought of the might of religion. Everything they did was religion. And they thought religion was enough for them. And they said, we have never been in bondage to any man. And Jesus said, whosoever among you Pharisees carrying religion on the head, you are committing sin, you are the servant of sin. There are people that carry church denomination on their head. Church in the morning, church in the evening. Church on Sunday, church on Saturday. Church on the mountain, church in the valley. Church at the river, church at the shrine. 
But they have not stopped committing sin. They fight. They drink alcohol. They become drunk. They beat their wives as if they want to kill their wives. They steal from the government. They steal everywhere. But they carry church on their head. And the Pharisees were like that. And the emancipator came. The deliverer came. The savior came. And they said we're free. Because they were carrying religion about. And Jesus said unto them. Verily, verily, I say unto you. Whosoever committed sin is the servant of sin. And the servant abideth not in the house forever. The servant of sin will not be in the house of God forever. That means they will not get to the heaven of God forever. There's no place, there's no place in heaven for sinners. There is no mansion in heaven for sinners. There is no temple in heaven for sinners. There is no seat in heaven for sinners. A man may go to church every day of his life. If he's living in sin, there is no heaven for him. A woman may be in church every day of her life. If she is living in sin, there is no heaven for her. A prophet may be in church every day of his life. A prophetess may be in church every day of her life. A lay reader may be in church every day of his life. A catechist may be in church every day of his life. If you are living in sin, there is no heaven for you. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that committeth sin is a servant of sin. And the servant, the slave of sin, abideth not in the house forever. But the son abideth ever. And here now comes the good news. Good news is coming to you. Somebody there said good news is coming to you. The good news of salvation. The good news of emancipation. The good news of new life. The good news of release from captivity. Good news for me. I say good news for me. I say good news for me. Say it for yourself. Oh. I say say it for yourself. Good news of salvation for me. Good news of redemption for me. What's the good news? Look at verse 36. If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. If the Son therefore shall make you free, that's Jesus Christ right there. That's our Savior right there. That's Emmanuel right there. That's Emancipator right there. The Son of God who came to this world to take the children of men and turn their lives to become the children of God. He died for you on the cross of Calvary. He died so he can forgive your sin. So he can change your life. So he can remove the guilt and the condemnation of sin. He died to liberate you. He died to set you free. He died to save. If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Ye shall be free indeed. That salvation is coming to you today. He will set you free. I said he will set you free. Heaven is waiting for your amen. He will set you free. All those chains of sin, the Lord will break everything. 
He removed every fate of sin away from your life. He set you free. You see, the things I used to do, I do them no more. The things I used to drink, I drink them no more. The clothes I used to wear, I wear them no more. The fight I used to fight, I fight that no more. The anger I used to manifest, I don't manifest that anymore. Something new will come upon your life. A change will come upon your life. My wife I used to beat, I beat her no more. Idols I used to worship, I worship idols no more. The shrine I used to go, I go there no more. Because salvation came. Emancipation came. Deliverance came. Thank God it's coming to you tonight. I said it's coming to you tonight. Point number three. Expectation of seekers for salvation. Expectation of seekers for salvation. Salvation, there's salvation from sin. Salvation, there's salvation from sickness. Salvation, there's salvation from all the bondages of your life. Salvation is all encompassing. Salvation has many branches. Salvation has many components. There's forgiveness there. There's conversion there. There's freedom there. There's peace of mind there. There's adoption into the kingdom of God there. There is healing there. There's deliverance there. There's provision there. There is ticket for heaven there. There is joy there. There is the writing of your name in the book of life there. Salvation has many components. And as you are full of expectation tonight, total salvation will come to you. Total deliverance will come to you. You will never be the same again. Matthew chapter 6, I'm reading from verse 33. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Seek ye first. Seek ye first. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. The forgiveness of your sin, number one. The removal of your guilt, number one. The cancellation of your condemnation, number one. The conversion of your soul, number one. The turning around transformation of your life, number one. The restoration of the backslider, number one. The taking away of the violence of your life, number one. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then he says, and all these things shall be added unto you. Healing will be added. Prosperity will be added. Deliverance will be added. Showers of blessing will be added. Peace of mind will be added. Joy will be added. Satisfaction will be added. Redemption will be added. Every good thing you are seeking, everything will be added. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Blessings coming your way tonight. I said blessings are coming your way tonight. I said blessings are coming your way tonight. Are you expecting? I said are you expecting? Where are you there? Expectation. 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 It will bring realization in your life. Matthew chapter 7 verse 7. 
ask and it shall be given you. You must ask. You cannot just sit down there. Close your mouth. And fold your hand. That's okay. They say salvation is there. If God knows that I'm fit for salvation, okay, I'm here. Ah, uh, you will ask. It says, ask and it, sh it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Somebody there tonight is finding salvation. Somebody there tonight is receiving salvation. Somebody there tonight, forgiveness is coming to you. Somebody there tonight, the joy of salvation. The victory and the triumph of salvation is coming upon your life tonight. Ask, it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Knock, it shall be over opened unto you. The door of salvation will be opened for you tonight. You will enter to see the Savior. Salvation will come to your soul. For everyone that asketh receiveth. And he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. To him that knocketh, it shall be opened. You will not just stay at the door there, you will knock at the door of grace. You will knock at the door of mercy. You will knock at the door of salvation. And the door will be opened. Then you will enter in. Salvation has come tonight. Forgiveness has come tonight. Redemption has come tonight. He will save your soul. Look at this verse. Look at this verse. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 14. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 14 Heal me O Lord and I shall be healed He didn't just stay at the door feeling and keep quiet He didn't, he didn't just stay at the door of emancipation and kept quiet He opened his mouth He said Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. You see that? He knew that the Savior is there. And the Savior is by your side tonight. I said the Savior is by your side tonight. And that's why you open your mouth and tell him. The emancipator is there tonight. The redeemer is there tonight. The one that forgives sin is there tonight. The one that will change your life and transform your life is there tonight. And you say, I have expectation. I have expectation for salvation. Expectation for emancipation. Expectation for redemption. Expectation for righteousness. Expectation for freedom. Expectation for release. And it says, you open your mouth and tell the Lord. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. For thou art my praise. Thou art my savior. Thou art my redeemer. Thou art my emancipator. Thou art my savior. Thou art my healer. Thou art my redeemer. Is your redeemer tonight? Is your emancipator tonight? Is the one that is going to release you tonight? Salvation is coming. Are you there to receive? Where are you? I said salvation is coming. Redemption is coming. Emancipation is coming. Total deliverance is coming. And you want to receive. What are you there? I said, what are you there? It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. 
it's about and eyes closed you are the candidate for heaven tonight you will not go to hell you will not perish you will not allow your sin to sink you down to the pit of hell here is the day of your salvation here is the day of your emancipation here is the day of your salvation and whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Heads bowed and eyes closed. You are telling the Lord you want to tell the Lord to save you. And you are saying, Lord, I want your salvation. I'm seeking for your salvation. I'm expecting your salvation. I want to surrender my life to Christ tonight. I want to surrender my life to the Savior tonight. Salvation. 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 Where are you? If you want that salvation now. And you want Jesus to save your soul. Jesus to forgive your sin. You will raise up your hand wherever you are. Right there on my left hand side. Here in front of me. Far away at the back. Here on my right hand side. Or behind me anywhere you are. He can see you right there. The emancipator has come. The savior has come. The redeemer has come. And if you want that salvation, wherever you are, you raise up your hand. If you are raising up your hand, you will stand up. Keep that, uh, keep that hand up. Keep that hand up. And stand up for that salvation. Don't perish. Don't die in your sin. Don't go to hell. Don't continue in suffering. Sin brings suffering. Sin brings shame. Sin brings damnation. Sin will lead to hell. But you want him to save your soul tonight. You raise up your hand and stand up wherever you are. You are standing up there. Open your mouth and tell the Lord. Lord, I need emancipation. Lord, I need forgiveness. Lord, I need freedom. Lord, I need redemption. Open your mouth. Talk to the Lord. I wanted to stop shine. I could not stop. Lord, I come tonight. I come tonight. Salvation. Salvation. Forgiveness. Redemption. Change my life. Turn my life around. Change my life. Tell him, tell him, tell him. That's why you are here tonight. That's why you are here tonight. Open your mouth and tell the Lord. Emancipation. Liberation. Redemption. Forgiveness. And Jesus Christ will wipe all your sins away. It will forgive you right there. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Salvation has come. If you have confessed your sin, you have turned away from your sin, you have told the Lord to save you, he has answered. He has answered. He has answered. Thank him. Thank him. Praise his name. And say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. My sins are forgiven. I thank you. I've called upon you. You said, ask, it shall be given unto you. You said, seek, and ye shall find. You said, knock, it shall be opened unto you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Savior. I am saved. Amen. Keep on standing and keep that hand up. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your redemption. We thank you for salvation in Christ. You have said, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. All these who have raised up their hands, who are standing up for your salvation, who have turned away from their sin. And they genuinely, sincerely want your salvation. Save them in Jesus' name. 
forgive their sins in Jesus' name. Cleanse their hearts in Jesus' name. The power of adoption to become the children of God, grant unto them now in Jesus' name. And the strength and the power in salvation to go and sin no more. The power in salvation to live in newness of life. Grant to every one of them right now. Let restoration come to the backslider. Regeneration to the sinner. And let the spirit of God be a witness in their hearts. That now they are saved. Forgiven. Liberated. Emancipated. Confirm it in every life. We well, thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus name we pray. And everybody said amen. Keep on standing. Then you raise up your hand. And we're praying. That miracle will come upon your life. You will never be the same again. Supernatural. I said something supernatural. I said something wonderful. I said something unforgettable. I said emancipation. I said the opening of the doors of heaven. Miracle. Somebody there, miracle. Somebody there, emancipation. Somebody there, power. Something unforgettable. Something remarkable that tonight, 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 what are you there? Candidate for miracle, candidate for power, candidate for anointing, candidate for the breaking of the yoke. It is coming. I said, It is coming. What are you there? When you hear the final amen. You will know it is done. Give me a good amen. If your eyes are blind, you lay hands on those blind eyes. You are deaf. You put your hands in those deaf ears. You brought anybody that has mental problem. You lay hand on them right there. You are paralyzed. You lay your hand right there. That swollen tummy. You lay your hand there. That hunchback. You lay your hand there. Whatever the challenge in your life. Whatever the yoke in your life. A miracle is coming your way right now. The Lord will do it. What are you there? I'm going to pray now. Whether your problem is mentioned or not, when you hear that final amen, your miracle has happened. Your healing has come. You check up yourself, and lo and behold, miracle. On my right hand side, miracle. Left hand side, miracle. In front of me, there, miracle. The time has come. Emancipation. The time has come. Redemption. The time has come. Healing. The time has come. Power manifestation. Raise up that hand. Lay the other hand on yourself. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you. We bless your name. We praise you because we come in the name of Emmanuel. In the name of the emancipator. In the name of a deliverer and healer. We come in the name of Jesus. The name that cannot fail. The power that cannot fail. The anointing that cannot fail. The authority that cannot fail. Lord, we come before you right now. Open the windows of heaven. 
apart the miracles now upon everyone in Jesus name I command that spirit of insanity come out in Jesus name all that swelling any part of your body that swelling tummy that goiter in the neck that elephantiasis in the leg that swelling of cancer in the armpit every kind of swelling there I command you come out in Jesus name not pile be healed in Jesus name cancer be healed in Jesus name ulcer be healed in Jesus name and that's thing walking about in your body all those crawling spirits I command those spirits come out in Jesus name and everything that is the power of darkness the power of evil the curse and the yoke I come against you right now come out in Jesus name Lord I pray that mountain of problem that mountain of sickness that mountain of suffering I command that mountain come out in Jesus name long standing sickness long standing ailment deadly disease and terrifying disease I command you right there be healed in Jesus name Lord I pray you touch everyone right now blind eyes I command you be opened in Jesus name those deaf ears be opened in Jesus name dumb tongue speak out in Jesus name you have stroke you are paralyzed I send for the power of the Lord upon your body I send for the bulldozer dynamic power of the Lord in your body rise up and walk in Jesus name Lord Jesus we thank you emancipator we thank you our Emmanuel we thank you Redeemer Deliverer we thank you everywhere now manifest your power to the right manifest your power to the left manifest your power far at the back manifest your power center and in front manifest your power everywhere now miracle everywhere now healing everywhere now deliverance everywhere emancipation everywhere liberation everywhere deliverance confirm it in every life we well, thank you because we know it is done in Jesus name we pray and the receiver said amen and the believer said amen I have got it amen check up yourself your miracle is there Yeah, and they are lined up yet to be interviewed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Tibeko, <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Long time watery eyes. The woman got a miracle at the last visitation of her father and the Lord to a kitty saint. Praise the Lord. Thank you, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Master Jesus. 
Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, check your body, something has happened over there. Our good coordinators, region of Asias, all of us are together that are there. Let's interview them and let them come and tell others about what the Lord has done. The next testimony. Praise the Lord, the next testifier. Praise the Lord. I give glory to God Almighty for giving me the privilege in coming here. I never planned coming here, but God made it a reality. I've been using this, I've been using crush. I fell down in school at the Yemi College of Education. During my final paper, I fell down. So I wrote all my exams on sick bed. But to the glory of God, I made use of crushes for like nine months. To, then this month will be a year that I've been making use of crushes. Last Last week, I was given this, and the, and the doctor diagnosed me of a ligament. And apart from the femoral that broken three times, I was operated twice. So I was later diagnosed that this cap has gotten another disease. So I was this new brace in which I bought from the hospital. And when Baba said we should start shaking our body and touch where the ailment is, I, with faith, I started walking. The pain I, I have been feeling, although I can move the leg, but I, can, I haven't walked at such distance since. But God made me to walk from the back to this place without falling. It's only God. I give glory to God for this. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you, hallelujah. She came here with crush, but today, right now, she's going back home without that aid of crush again. Nature testifier. Any token. My name is uh, Stephen Dada. I came from in Kalakiti. I fell down right in my own house without uh, plugging my, my leg on anything. I, was, I didn't sleep. I was so slippery. I just fell down like that. Head on. And when I woke up, when I saw myself, I saw blood all over. And I was taken to the general hospital in Kalekiti where the thing was stitched. I was there for about five days. Uh, dressing the wound. Later, I discovered that my leg could not walk in conjunction with my back. I can shake my leg like this. I can shake my foot like this. But the, the back cannot walk together with the, with the leg. I couldn't move. I went to the hospital here, American Medical Center. I saw a doctor there. They said I should go and take x ray and all this. I did them. And the doctor told me that the only thing I can do is to continue to manage with the stick and uh, the neck collar. I took the neck collar, I was using the stick. And even with the stick, I cannot walk alone without, any, without a person staying behind me. So, but today, when Papa said that we should touch where we have problems, 
and that we should try and uh, answer amen when he's praying. I did that. I was looking at the first person very close to me who has a similar problem. I saw her trying to move, shaking her body. I also tried to do the same thing. My son was with me. He said, and my friend, Mr. Ashudade, he said, I should move and go forward now. Then I moved. I started moving forward. And here you are now. And here I, I say, now. and here you are now. Here I am now. You have been delivered. Yes. <laughs> I say you have been delivered. Amen. You are going back home now, a new individual. Amen. Heal and thoroughly heal. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Alone, Baba, I want to go alone, Roma. Oh, to pet Timothy, one, you know, and get down. You get down, son. Praise the Lord. For the Bella War Lono, I lie. For the Dubella War Lono, Baba, I come with you. Sorry, eh, get a larry, own law school, tell a cosink or toshe, or suck a gallo chapel, a sin shubu. I did the Ashuba did the Ashapel, a sin da, a dura. Bati, I want labor that don't bear to go. Why shall I invite me? I want to be Lenny, for the Dukala war long, but if I babble and see one one, Dura, so the Batambo, I did Mudani de Bini, for the daddy Duro, like the Bea Dimu, for the Dukala war long, I like Bati, I don't call it a Dura, Tiba Banica for what to be Tobes in Junior. I shall for what see, and for what sorry, and for what saying, so they are still lost petty, and not go become, for sick or sorry, why shall I make a cash and my. So you I am pressing Badura, but Modu Pala won't allow you to get a chance 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 you can Lord. see right now convicted testimony. Your testimony shall be permanent in Jesus' name. The next testifier. Praise the Lord. My name is Abolaji Olufun Shopita. I'm from Oton, Ekiti. Yeah. By the grace of God, I want to thank God for his goodness in my life. I never knew I would be able to stand and testify like this this night. I was just coming on the bike. And that's how a driver, I don't know what happened, just knocked the bike away. I became unconscious for about one month at the hospital. But I thank God. After the treatment, I couldn't walk. So one Bible study, the last Bible study, I couldn't go to church. I was just in the house listening to the message. I had the pastor. He was saying, thy son, leave it. The word was powerful. I said, ah, gospel according to St. John, explain in this way, thy son, leave it. If only you believe. I began to claim the promise of God, but the pains were still there. So this night, as I was coming, I can't go far on my leg, but I was sitting at the far back there. After the prayer, I, I was just going and coming, going and coming. I said, as I'm going, I'm standing on the promise of God. I'm having the victory already. So I, just look at way back there. I've, come, I've never trekked to such extent before. I believe God has perfected my healing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You, hallelujah. You are there right now. You must give this testimony before you go. I, what are you going to say at home? What are you going to say at home? See that young man over there? He came here with the aid of the crutches that you saw in the hand of the other person. But today, right now, the story has changed. Testimony will go to our district. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Okoro Peace from Oye region. I just thank the name of the Lord for what God has done in my life. There was a time I had a surgery of twin ectopic pregnancy. Then after the surgery, I started having some physiotherapy problems. 
like bleeding and many type of problems. So I went to several hospitals. I even went to FMC at Idoye, of which they told me that uh, I may not be able to conceive again. But I just thank the name of the Lord because as I had it, I know that that is a woman confession. I started confessing positively and I was praying together with the prayer of the men of God. Praise the Lord. So I thank the name of the Lord because during the visit of our daddy in the Lord, I trusted in the Lord and I started praying. And I thank the name of the Lord because the Lord answered my prayer. Because after the program, I know that the Lord has done it. I got the assurance. And I bless the name of the Lord because I, got, I, I was pregnant. I was con conceived. And I bless the name of the Lord. This is the baby in my hand. And the Lord saw me through. And the Lord took control throughout the delivery. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. She got discouraging medical report, but it has changed to divine miracle report now. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. 